Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes. This is a daily tarot reading. This reading may or may not be for you. We're just going to see what comes up. This reading is not sign specific. It is intended for September 27th. I don't typically say that. So keep that in mind. The timing is fluid because there are, there are no there are no clocks in the universe. There really are not. Relief. Five of Wands reversed. This is relief. Uh, no longer playing the game. All right, letting go. Coming out of a tense situation. No more tension. Because somebody's not playing. Somebody's giving up on it. It's like there's, there's no conflict. There's no competition if you don't play. So somebody's just not playing. And it is, it, it, it is a relief. It's a relief. The Fool. Now, the Fool is a new beginning. Starting from zero, starting from scratch. Taking that step. Stepping forward with faith. This is exciting. This is. This is an exciting new opportunity. I feel, I feel like we have somebody here that has this vision. And they just take the leap. It's like, I'm just going to take this leap. This is an exciting opportunity to fly. So, this is not resisting it as well. So, somebody may be... Um, moving. Somebody could be moving. Somebody could be traveling. Somebody is leaving something behind because when the fool starts a new journey, the fool doesn't take anything with them. Okay, very, very little. Okay, this is this is like starting a new journey from scratch without the baggage, without the tension, without the conflict, without the competition. I'm on my own. And this is exciting. Ooh, the Hermit Reverse. This is um, coming out of hiding. Somebody has been in a time of reflection and they have seen the light. Okay. Now, I want to talk a minute about that yin and yang we saw yesterday. That are, that's opposite polarities. And it's been after me all day today. Darkness versus light. Good versus evil. Right versus wrong. Okay. So I feel as though you need, the, you need the darkness to see the light. You do. You aren't going to see the light until you have experienced the darkness. So I feel as though somebody has been through a period of darkness, but in, they've been holding on to it, right? They've been holding on. They, they, I don't know why. There's, everybody has a different reason as to why. But it's like now it's time to fly. I'm letting go. So somebody is about to fly. Seriously, that's what I keep getting. Anyway, this isn't right. It's been wrong. That was dark. I want the light. I don't want this negative situation. I want it to be good. This is ugly. I'm looking for something beautiful. So I feel like we have somebody that has been in a situation that, you know, <laughs> was negative, ugly, dark, wrong. And now they've seen the light and they're ready. They are ready to fly into something more beautiful. Something more exciting, something more right.
So this is leaving the tension, the conflict, the competition behind. Rejecting. Rejecting it. And, and, it's, and it's like doing it in silence as well. It's just doing it. All right, taking the action and doing it, not telling your best friend about it, not telling everybody, this is in silence, I'm just doing it. I'm leaving this behind and I'm not telling anybody. We have a new beginning here because somebody <laughs> has seen the light, okay? And all that is good. It's like, I'm going to start over from here, from today. I'm going to do what is right. So this is uh, leaving something behind, seriously. And it's tension, whatever it is being left behind. This is removing an obstacle of fear. The Eight of Swords reverse. This is removing an obstacle. There may have been a roadblock. There may have been a barrier, but somebody is escaping. This is an escape. They've been in some sort of uh, mental state of confusion. Maybe it was just comfortable there, but this is escaping. Okay. Letting go of the emptiness. Letting go of something that made uh, them feel empty. Wow. Oh, my God. So, this is very, um, somebody has been in a, in depressed, very depressed, in a very dark situation. And it's like their gut's been telling them for a very, very, very long time that whatever they were involved in wasn't good. But they were staying there. They were staying there for some reason. Because, you know, giving up might 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 portray that, that you're not the winner. Because on, on, on one of the Five of Wands card, they're actually playing tug of war, okay? So once you, once you stop playing, it's basically giving up, right? You lost. You lost. But sometimes the winner is the one that walks away. Fighting. isn't of the highest vibration. So anyway, somebody is walking away from a tent situation without saying a word. And they have been, they, they've been really worried about it, stressed over it, um, thinking about it a lot. And it's like, you know, it's like their gut has said, just, just do it. Just do it. Yeah, it may be risky for you to step outside of your comfort zone. It may be risky, but this is exciting. It's very exciting. And I feel like this person has this newfound excitement. It's like, yeah, this is exciting. I'm free. I'm free. Yeah, this person's been, has, wasn't prepared, wasn't prepared, has been wasting time. And it's like their expectations have been dashed, okay? They may have expected a relationship to grow or a situation to, you know, blossom. But it's like it's just not happening. There's too much conflict, right? It's like people just can't get along. There's there, That's what it is. That's what I feel like this is. I gotta go. Somebody wasn't seeing that they had an opportunity right here. They weren't seeing it, but it's like now they see it. Now they see an opportunity that they missed previously. Okay. And this is very bright. Okay. Somebody has definitely seen, had some sort of enlightenment. Ooh, the Empress. Oh, it's funny because when I was thinking about the yin and yang today, um, I'm going to tell you what else. I, I thought about the Empress. Empress, and I also saw the Temperance card as well. 
But anyway, so I saw the yin and yang, and then I saw uh, the empress, and then I saw the temperance card. So anyway, the empress doesn't fight. She doesn't. She knows her value. She doesn't even need to prove herself. This is an energy of gracefulness, beauty, abundance, poise, worth, value. She doesn't need to chase. She doesn't even need to compete. She's beautiful. She's glowing. She's not in her low vibration because she's upright. She's in a very high vibration. This is the birth of a new life. The Empress' strength comes from her gentle compassion for others. This is, this is a card of beauty, love, abundance, caring. So anyway, this Empress... is creating she is creating she is creating a new life she is creating love she is creating abundance she's she's a healer she's a mother avoiding Avoiding conflict, avoiding a change, avoiding a decision, avoiding, this is not seeing the truth. Somebody has not been seeing the truth. They've been reluctant to take a new approach. Ten of Pentacles. This is the end. It's the end of lack by the looks of things. It is. Because this is creating abundance. So somebody is creating something solid, something stable, something abundant. But this is avoiding in denial of some sort or protecting, protecting themselves. Somebody may have been protecting themselves, trying to protect themselves from loss, you know. Now, this is a rejection. Maybe this person has rejected. The Hermit Reverse is a rejection. So this person is creating a new life, perhaps rejecting something that did not arrive in time. This did, something didn't, Somebody may have wasted their time. Okay, this is wasted time. Somebody did not see an opportunity with somebody. They wasted their time. But it's like now an obstacle has been removed. And somebody is very, very worried about... Maybe worried about being rejected. Now this is not seeing an opportunity. So somebody did not see an opportunity... But now they've come out of the darkness and they've seen the light. That is the meaning of the Five of Pentacles reverse. Is they've, they've, they're realizing, okay, they're realizing that there is still an opportunity. But they're avoiding this person. They are avoiding this person. Nine of Wands, great personal fear. There's hard feelings. There's hard feelings here. Somebody has hard feelings. They, this person is afraid that they will be rejected. So I feel like we have somebody here that wants to take a risk, or they, I think they may. 
they may take a risk. Okay. This is a card of freedom. So somebody may have been become free, you know, become free. Now they're single. If that's the case for some of you, this, this part may not resonate with all of you, but this is a card of being on your own, doing your own thing. And an obstacle has been removed. Something has been removed. This person is free as a bird. Okay. The fool is free as a bird. There's no more competition. But this person that is free as a bird, wasted time. Interesting. Interesting. What the hell is this? Strength. Strength. This is a card of courage. Finding the courage to face your fears. This is a card of healing. Confidence, beauty as well. We got an, uh, an offer of love coming. Somebody has an offer of love coming. Somebody is going to take a risk and find their confidence and their courage to make an offer to, to somebody, okay? To somebody. This, this person is very beautiful. This person is a creator. This person um, can grow anything. Uh, but they've been avoiding... Avoiding. Great personal fear. Afraid. <sighs> Woo! Wow! What, we got three fives right here? Yep. No. I thought we had three. Where's the other one? Yeah, we do. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. <laughs> five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. But all of these fives are reversed, but still, it is five, five, five. That's, that is personal freedom. Somebody has be or is becoming free, okay? Somebody is becoming free. They may be set free, Okay? They may be set free from a third party situation. They may be set free from a relationship that had no future, that had no passion. They may be setting themselves free. So this is a card of freedom. Seeing the light. Somebody has seen the light. And that is no kidding. Now, 555 is change. Universal change. It's an uneasy change. It's not easy. This is divinely guided major life changes when you see 555. There's been a lot of power struggles with these fives. There has. Somebody was abandoned with this five of pentacles reversed. They were ghosted. They were left behind. And, you know, with the five of swords reversed, perhaps... You know, that there was a struggle with this win-lose win, win situation. It's not about winning. It's about working together. But this is a no longer wanting to prove. I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. And this is healing. So it feels as though we have somebody here that probably wants to heal. <sighs> Obviously, everybody wants to heal. Anyway, we have some great personal fear. There's hard feelings because there was so much conflict. There was so much competition. Somebody has been avoiding this. This is a beautiful soul because of fear of rejection. But the Ten of Pentacles is a card of home. It's a card of prosperity. It's a card of abundance. Abundance. Extreme. By avoiding this beautiful soul, this new life, you are also avoiding prosperity, abundance, security, 
stability, extreme, okay, in an extreme manner. So avoiding creating this new life is also, you got to look, okay, we've got one pointed here and one pointed here. Avoiding creating this new life is, or creating, avoiding taking that blindfold off, avoiding expressing yourself. Somebody has been unable to express their truth about how they truly feel because of fear of rejection. Uh, avoiding it is also causing this person to avoid extreme abundance. So the overall outcome is the Page of Cups. That is a welcome message coming. Somebody is going to send a message, okay? This is going to be a kind message, a nice message, a, maybe a flirty message, maybe just a, a little message, okay? A little, you know, something, just a little something. It's going to take this person a lot of courage to do it, but they're going to do it. I think that they are going to do it. I feel like we, we we have somebody here that is about to take a big risk because they an, an obstacle that was holding them back has now been removed. Darkness. The Empress, the Empress, the Empress is a card of... Uh, you know, the Empress has dealt with a lot of pain, right? She has. A lot of pain. A lot of pain to become the Empress. She learned. She became the Emper Empress through suffering. She did. And now that she knows her value and she knows her worth, I think that she has so much opportunity. Opportunities chase her. They do. Because she doesn't... overreact so anyway be prepared 555 five, five, major life changes major life choices divinely guided okay so I feel like we have somebody here that is 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 ready to take a leap of faith and step into a new path that they have been afraid to step into. It's like they're ready to face their fears and just do it. Somebody is about to go down a new road. They're about to go down a new path. They have somebody in their sight that is beautiful. This person is abundant. This person is caring. This person is, huh, well, I would just say, Uh, well, what I want to say is lovely, because that's what I, that's what she is. Uh, yeah, so I feel like somebody is going to receive a message. And I think that, that the message will be a very nice, kind message, and I feel like the response will be positive. Okay, I think it will be positive. I think the response will be a positive response. Somebody is absolutely going to receive a message. And this is uh, triumphant news, right? These are Cupid's arrows. These are the rods of love. This is moving forward very, very, very quickly. So somebody is uh, is about to uh, receive some messages or a message from somebody that, you know, makes some sort of decision. It's like they take the risk and it could lead to victory. It really could. It could lead to victory. It could lead to stability. It could lead to success. It could lead to abundance. So somebody is going to receive a message from somebody that uh, is exciting. This is an exciting, t and the fool is, it's exciting. Maybe some, maybe somebody realizes that they were a fool or they have been being a fool.
Somebody could even be receiving an apology. We have Leo, we have Aries, we have Taurus, we have Libra, we have Virgo, we have everybody. But that's who I see right here in these cards, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody is going to receive a loving message or messages that opens up a whole new path for them. I'm not kidding. This is a whole new path. It gives somebody the opportunity to start fresh, to start over. We have a new beginning here. That's what we got. It's like the waiting is over. Okay, with that three of wands reverse. Yeah, somebody may have wasted time, but the waiting is over. It's like this person doesn't want to be alone anymore. Somebody has been alone. It's like they don't want to be alone anymore. So they're going to get moving by the looks of something. Somebody's about to get moving. And they're headed towards this Ten of Pentacles. This is long-term stability, security, abundance. This Somebody could be uh, moving. They could be moving to a no, new home, traveling to a new home. I mean, look at the world here. This is big, big success. This is also, I mean, I just happen to be seeing this world on this card. This is a major completion of a phase. I feel like it's the end of avoidance. It's the end of hiding. It's the end of blocking what your heart wants. I feel like somebody is about to follow their heart into an abundant situation. It's going to happen very, very quickly. Somebody's about to express their feelings or their love to another person after they have been reluctant to do so because a fear was in the way. There was some sort of obstacle, whether it was fear or another person. That obstacle has now been removed and this person is about to come out from behind the curtain and speak up. And that is what I got. So, good luck.